Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. Um, we're going through these crazy shifts and being able to know we can all resonate in one way or another is truly a blessing. So keep pushing and keep doing you and keep shining no matter what crazy stuff comes your way because I know it's going to be coming. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love for you to uh, drop me a few lines. I would love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you um, are comfortable, well, if you find a video very informative or good vibes, I almost messed up my outro, intro. Um, please just share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times that need validation or, inf or uh, confirmation towards the things that they are going through. You know, just to basically let them know if they're on the right path or not. Please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you give me every day. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And, uh, and today, my meditation music that I'm listening to is called All Nine Sofigo Frequencies at, one, at Once Music 7.83 Hertz Earth's Natural Rain Waves. 10,000 hertz of regeneration HD and I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 ascending to the vibrations of your higher selves yes is good you know we don't need to be at that low frequency where we're dealing with materialistic 3d world situations because I mean it just makes you feel so shallow I don't know about you, but it makes, when I see people on that 3D situation where everything is about money or look what I did this weekend or, you know, look where vacation I'm going to. I mean, yeah, it's a blessing for you to be able to go through that, but you know, I mean, you ain't always got to post it all the time, you know, but being able to see the goodness through everything, you know, I always feel like, am I going to my higher self? I always ask myself these questions, but then I look at how I used to, you know, react to certain situations like, you know, anybody could come to me acting ignorant you know especially on here you know I used to be ready to pop off I used to make videos about popping off at people when they, when they used to come over here and piss me off and it's just now I just laugh it off and keep it moving or even when I make a comment towards something else you know on somebody else's video and they just want out of all people they want to come say something to me I'm like look don't come for me if I ain't call for you but it's just like a blessing I can actually keep going and knowing that I don't allow things like that to stop me you know it's like some people want to drag you down and sometimes darkness will send that towards your way and as well as you know universe is doing it too just to see if you're going to react to it like you used to react to it are you ascending to a better person not allow somebody else's frequency to bring you at your you know bring them down you know being able to have that strength no matter what kind of you know somebody comes at you a certain way and it just doesn't throw off you know the monkey wrench into your program for out the day you know because i used to allow you know somebody come at me stupid and i'd be mad the whole day from that now it's just like about I'll let it stay like that a good five seconds. And I'm like, you know what? I'm straight over it. Just leave it alone. You know, and just being able to know that this is not what I'm here for. I'm not going to allow people negativity pull me into their storm. I want to pull them into my peace. You know, I was like, hey, you know, we ain't even got to go all this route. You know, but, you know, if you got something positive to say, we can talk about it. You know, or if you don't, you know, you stay in your corner, I stay in mine. But being able to send and knowing, I, you know, I got positive things to do. Knowing that, you know, I have positive uh, frequency I want to be able to share with other people. Being able to send and see myself in a better light. Um, knowing I'm, I'm here for a reason and it's not like to be 
doing like low frequency stuff, being able to see myself at that higher, at that higher frequency, being able to share love with other people, being able to let them know, even though we go through some crazy stuff, you can be able to get over stuff like that real quick you know and some of the things you know it, it just depends on what it is let me just put it that way it just depends on what it is but if you know you're making that effort to go ahead and just like okay i'm not gonna allow this situation to beat me or you're you're just giving yourself that chance especially i mean when i when it talks to certain things like that when it's if it's like dealing with the death of a loved one i know it might take a, a minute for that because i mean it's just the fact is that's a grief you know, you have to go through that because it's like we're in our human form right now. And it tends, we tend to have to deal with stuff like that. Even though we know it's a circle of life and we all live to die, but we're just not really dying. We never really do. You know, we're just ascending to a different form. So in being able to ascend to that and transcend into, you know, something very beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful situation. But knowing, you know, there is so much hatred out in the world, and they, that's the reason why we're going through so many things in a hard way. They messing with us the long way, being able to put us through so many things because, I mean, we have to press out so much love right now. There's just too, too many crazy things going on in the world, you know, these these uh, cathedrals getting burnt down, you know, people getting shot up, people getting blown up, and it's just like, it's just so much one thing or another with another with another. And then when you're able to actually balance that out and see so much love in the world, seeing people, you know, um, giving out water and stuff like that to certain, you know, they're Michigan, being able to see like Jaden Smith, you know, uh, finding out, you know, how to be able to make these machines for them to have pure water. They've been without water for years now. I'm like, God, dog, you know, as much money as they got out here, they have not got these people in clean water yet. But being able to know that there's somebody doing stuff, I, I love to hear about positive things in the world. I get, I'm tired of hearing all the negative stuff that goes on. But being able to see things all is in a beauty, being able to know that everything connects with one thing or another, being able to help other people when they're, when you see them down and out and have them come up with you as you're ascending as well being able to do all these different things in the world is a beautiful thing you know and it's just like when I see what I do I love what I do I love when I you know when people and basically say you know what this girl don't went through some stuff <laughs> and for her to be able to have a smile and be able to giggle and bs with us you know you, you have to have pure strength to deal with that you know nobody has a positive day every day but when you try to find the beauty out of each day that's what the blessing is you know there's days I get really aggravated and I get frustrated saying I'm tired of going through the things I'm going through and it's just like God knows that universe because I don't stress it enough but being able to say okay then you know I have to tell myself all right Rosalind so what 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 positive things did you did you find out coming from today you still living. You can still come up the next day and make positive videos. You can be able to see the beauty within the world. You know, it, it could be worse than what it is. You know, there's more people out here that don't have all the things that you have. But yet, you know, we take for granted for the things we have. When people send up here, they will beg for our situations. So I try to be grateful for everything that comes in my life and everything I can possibly do um, to be able to see myself in that higher that higher form me be able to not judge anyone being able to know you know hey everybody has their life they gotta live but it's just their point on how they want to live it you know if i can be able to influence somebody and i mean if i can i can't but at least i can say i tried with those people so it's just being able to do those things and being able to help uplift other people is truly a blessing to me being able to allow you to see strength within yourself you know it's just like when i always do one-on-ones with people and they tell me the situations they're going through you know i try to help them the best way i know how being able to see the strength in themselves when they weren't able to see it within themselves I was like look look at the things you know went through when you can first tell somebody openly the things you have went through, that takes strength right there for what it is. Because a lot of people are ashamed for the things they went through. And they feel like they're not worthy of happiness. They're not wor worthy of good things coming in their life. And if good things come in their life, it, it got to be a setup. No, it's not a setup. But it's just the fact is all the things you endured, when you have blessings that come into your life, be grateful for them things. You know, I try to be grateful, even if it's a little bit of things. You know, I was just talking about giving myself that self pep talk. You know, I tell God all the time, don't, please don't think I'm being ungrateful about the things that happen around me. You know, it's just, 
when you're just trying to get used to everything else happening around you for people that bring chaos in your life and they're getting better things than you are at that point. But then I'm just like, I can't be judge or jury, you know, just being, you know, just crack, congratulate them, even though, you know, you looking at them sideways like, oh, okay, you know, but it's just like, you got to be happy. You have to be able to be grateful for all the things that come in your life and knowing your old you is never you anymore. You know, when you know that when you went through that spiritual awakening, being able to see yourself in that form of not being that old person anymore, it, it's helping you ascend to the higher self. So I hope you are able to resonate with this comment of this video. I would love for you to comment, leave your, you know, your two cents or, you know, just your opinion on how you feel about that. You know, do you see yourself in the higher self? Uh, do you see yourself ascending towards better things? Do you see yourself as being a different person since you went through your spiritual awakening? I would love to know. Like and subscribe. If you hit the notification bell, drop me a line, you know, so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. Um, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shout out goes to uh, Mimi. Much love to you. Uh, Silky J86 and Julie Carey. Much love to you as well. And I will see you on my next video. Knowing that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Anything you do, please be responsible and also safe. Send as much love and light and positive as you possibly can. You never know where your kind words can t really take somebody. You know, we always need kind of words you never know what somebody went through that day and i'll see you on my next video much love peace and be wild